How's it going everyone? The Trout91 here back for the Advanced Warfare Custom Class Guide. This time we're looking at the Lynx. The Lynx is a semi-automatic sniper rifle that has been brought back from Call of Duty Ghosts. However, it has had some changes made to it for Advanced Warfare. The gun has high unpredictable recoil, moderately usable iron sights, an 8 bullet magazine with 12 bullets if you have extended mags, high damage, low mobility, bad hip fire, and a low rate of fire. This gun has the best range in its class, however in order to get a one hit kill you need to hit the opponent in the head. Anywhere else will require two shots. This gun works best at range, however with the high recoil and low damage it really isn't very good at even this. It can be very inconsistent and detrimental to your game. My classes are going to be focusing on making the best of a bad gun, and that's by focusing on what it does well. This first class is called the Damage Limitation class. I know the gun's not very good, it's got high recoil, but it does have high damage, which means if I get up close, I should be able to utilize that in my advantage. So what I like to do with this class is go and get the Suppressor and Iron Sights for sneaking up on enemies and taking the fight closer to them. My secondary is an AK-12 if I have the Overkill Wild Card on because my main gun's gonna run out of ammo and it's quite frankly terrible. Perk 1, I have Lightweight and Low Profile to get me around the map quickly and quietly. I have Perk 2 as Fast Hands so I can swap to my AK-12 as quickly as possible. Blast Suppressor is my perk free as it keeps me hidden when moving around the map and toughness helps my shooting when I'm caught in a gunfight. My score streak is the UAV support score streak because I know I'm going to die so I might as well help my team out as best as possible. The class number two I like to call the Rat Boy class because it's a class all dedicated to not moving and playing like a little rat. The attachments I like to put on it is the variable zoom scope because it looks a lot nicer than the regular scope and the peripheral vision it gives is quite nice as well in case you are caught out. My secondary is an ASM-1 in case someone does try to rush me while I'm sitting still. Perk number two is cold blooded in case any thermals and things try to spot me out. Perk number three is hardwired in case they try to flush me out with EMPs and other nasty things and scavenger is to give me more starting ammo so I can sit there as long as possible. Exo ability is it going to be exo cloak so I can stay hidden if someone does spot me out I can usually put it on and throw them off a little bit. Exo launcher is the explosive drone in case someone does try to come and flank me and the score streaks I choose is the support UAV and the support sentry turret just in case I am caught out it does give me that little bit of extra sit still and do absolutely nothing like a true scout sniper. Unfortunately with the way the game's played that's only really going to work on one map and that is instinct So I have another class for you that might give you a little bit more of an aggressive approach The ability to move around the map, but also help you try and rank up to the iron sights a lot quicker It's called the band-aid. You know, it's gonna hurt, but you've got to get it done anyway You gotta rip that band-aid off the attachments I've got on it is the ACOG and the stock for a better aggressive play It does give you that little bit of range as well, and it helps you to strength my secondary is my ASM-1 in case I do go into an area where I'm not too confident in myself. Low profile is to stay hidden, peripherals helps me see things on a mini-map easier so I can approach my fights a lot simpler. Toughness for better shooting and blast suppressor for getting around the map easier. My exo ability is exo cloak so I can go hidden. My score streaks once again are the UAV support and the remote turret which has the support and sentry modification on it. This gun's not very good. I really don't recommend it unless you like seeing your KD plummet, but here's some suggestions to help you get on with it if you are trying to do some challenges and get a little bit extra XP. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, do drop a like rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already, make sure you follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and I'll see you for the next one. Peace out.